We started Commingle to create a set of open resources for exploring sexual technology. There's a new space for innovation opening up as the ability to create high-end sexual devices becomes more widespread. We want to build a community space at commingle.io where people can share and discuss strategies for figuring out safe, interesting, and new ways to stimulate themselves and each other. We target innovations in stimulation, interaction, and doing it yourself. One of the most fun parts about working in a sex toy company is dreaming up new ways of stimulating people's junk. There's a world of new shapes, textures, and materials opening up for personal experimentation. And each of these new forms and materials offers up new ways of innovating with traditional means of stimulation, such as vibrating motors. These motors, a staple of sex toys everywhere, can also still be innovated upon through new types of patterns, control systems, or arrangement into nested arrays. On top of that, comparatively new and cutting-edge technologies, like electrotactile stimulation, can let people safely explore new means of experiencing a wide array of high-definition sensations. New ways for interacting with our toys and each other will be where DIY sex tech really flourishes. Most of the biggest innovations for sex toys in recent years come from really rethinking the industrial design of things like vibrators. Manipulating the forms and controls really enhance personal interaction. The digital interaction design for sex toys, however, is just opening up. Now your toys can move beyond simple direct control to responding to things like pressure, movement, music, heat, and even biometrics. Programmable digital components will not only let us fulfill teledildonic fantasies and reach out to partners far away, but they'll also let us explore a whole new world of pleasure with partners nearby. Our company is founded on free and open source principles. We purposefully do not patent or lock down our designs in order to promote innovation. In fact, we go out of our way not only to show you how toys are made, but also invent new methodologies for making and hacking that can actually be done at home. DIY and open source are especially important in the sex toy industry for the following reasons. First, sex toys are unregulated, and so the only way to truly know the safety of the chemicals being put into your toys is for all the materials and manufacturing processes to be shared openly. Locking up designs also locks out users. People with accessibility issues or non-standard bodies may need to hold or control the toys in many different ways. Sharing our designs lets others more easily adapt toys for themselves. It might be really cool to feel your partner's pulse throbbing through their big fluorescent dildo, but this exact same technology can be used to make prostheses feel more realistic to the wearer. Making sure that you can modify your own intimate devices is important to asserting your sexual freedom. It's your body. Don't let some company tell you what you can and can't do with it. Sharing our designs openly also promotes community engagement with diverse audiences. This way, we can all escape culturally dominant points of views to collaboratively develop more robust and interesting designs. One of the most common questions that we get, after all the questions about the sex toys themselves, is how do we intend on making money if we're going to give away all of our designs for free? The answer is by providing a service. At Comingo, we curate resources for designing your own sex toys, and we support this through the sale of parts, kits, and entire high-quality sex toys. We use our training, experience, and countless hours of trial and error to bring you the best information possible. And for those who might not have the time, space, or access to equipment that's necessary to make your own high-quality sex toys, we'll sell you our own fully assembled toys that are ready to go out of the box, and we'll also provide tips and tricks for customizing them yourself. Figuring out safe, interesting new ways to stimulate ourselves and each other is a really fun problem to work on. And with your help, we'll be able to build this resource and the community even quicker. Thank you.